dear students i am nilanjana senial an online math tutor from india i tutor students of the ib and the igcse boards from grades 9 to 12 this is my website www.nsonlinemathtutoring.com you may visit my website to know about my tutoring services in more detail okay now today's topic is arithmetic series we have learnt about the arithmetic sequences we have solved few questions on the arithmetic sequences topic now we are starting with the arithmetic series topic what is the meaning of arithmetic series it is the summation of all the terms of a finite arithmetic sequence finite this is important why because only a finite arithmetic sequence will be having the last term you will not be having the last term for an infinite arithmetic sequence so how long will you be continuing to add terms therefore finite arithmetic sequences can only be converted to arithmetic series not infinite arithmetic sequences okay for for example if it is say 2 4 6 8 10 this is a finite arithmetic sequence with common differences to what will be its corresponding its arithmetic series it will be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 this is the this is an arithmetic series of five terms and what will be the sum total 2 plus 4 is 6 six plus 6 is 12 12 plus 8 is 20 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 so the sum total of all these numbers or the arithmetic series sum total is equal to 30 and they are saying they have also given us the formula for the arithmetic series the sum of a finite arithmetic series with the first term as u1 common difference is d and the last term as un is given by s n equal to n over 2 and times u1 plus un s n is the sum total of the first n terms of any arithmetic series i am coming to the first n terms part uh, later and n over 2 how many terms are there in number of terms are there in divided by 2 and u1 is the first term and un is the last term so if we have to apply this formula to find the summation of this series which has five terms therefore it is the sum total of the first five terms it is having only five terms so we will be writing s5 is equal to 5 over 2 because n is equal to 5 and the summation of the first and the last terms so the first term is 2 the last term is 10 okay so this is 5 over 2 10 plus 2 is 12 which is equal to 30 so if we apply the formula we get the sum total as 30 as well as if we add these numbers we get the same value it is 30 obviously we should be getting the same value but we if these are only five numbers but if we are required to add say 100 numbers or 200 numbers we cannot just go on adding this way the way that i have taken we have to apply the formula so that is why this one is helpful now coming to the part that i had said it is the sum total of the first n terms of a finite arithmetic series first n terms means now this arithmetic series contains five terms we could have taken only the first three terms and in that case it would have been instead of s5 it would have been s3 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. And what do we get? 
as a ST value. In, in this case is 3. In over 2, first term is 2 and the last term is 6. So, 3 over 2 times 8. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And we have got the same value. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. Okay. So this is why I am saying it is the summation of the first n terms. Now as soon as I am saying that it is a summation of the first n terms, you may argue that okay, it, the original arithmetic sequence can be an infinite arithmetic sequence and we can just select the first set n terms from it. Of course you can do that. You can take the first 10 terms from an infinite arithmetic sequence and get the arithmetic corresponding arithmetic series. But as soon as you are selecting those first 10 terms, you are converting it to a finite arithmetic sequence where the first and the last terms are known. It no longer remains an infinite arithmetic sequence. It gets converted to a finite arithmetic sequence whose arithmetic series can be formed. Okay. And now that we have known about the validity of this formula, let us try to derive this formula. Okay. So, S when N will be the sum total of the first N terms of any arithmetic series. Therefore, Sn is equal to, we will be starting with the first term, first term plus the second term. What is the second term? It is U1 plus D obviously. U1 plus D. What is the third term? It is U2 plus D. It will be continuing this way. And what is the last term? Last term is un. What is the second last term with respect to the last term? Because I am writing un. I am not writing u1 plus n minus 1 times d. I am writing un. So what is the second last term with respect to the last term? It will be un minus d. Because un minus d plus d will be giving us un. What will be the third last term? It will be obviously un minus 2d. Okay. Now again, this is in can be written as, now this time we start from the last term. We are just flipping the terms. That is all that I will be doing. First I write the last term, then the second last term. Third last term, we come to the third term, sorry this is not E2, this is E1, sorry, E1 plus 2D, this is the second term. And finally, the first term. Okay? And now, we add these two equations. Sn plus Sn gives us 2Sn. Is equal to U1 plus Un. From these two, plus D minus D. Cancel out. And we get u1 plus u1 plus it is u1 plus 2d sorry let me write this clearly u1 plus 2d so 2d plus 2d minus 2d again get cancelled and we get u1 plus u1 and we continue this way 
over here again minus 2d plus d, d cancel out this is minus d and plus d cancel out and finally we reach to the last part it is again u1 plus un okay so we are seeing there are a number of u1 plus un expressions in the right hand side of this final equation how many of them are there how many terms are there in each of these two equations in the right hand side the first term is having a subscript of 1 and the last term is having a subscript of n therefore obviously and this is u2 this is u3 so obviously there are n number of terms hence there will be n number of u1 plus un expressions so 2sn is equal to n times u1 plus un okay so this gives us the sn formula as n over 2 and u1 plus un okay so this is n over 2 u1 plus un the sum total of all the first n terms of a finite arithmetic series this is the very formula that they have given us but what about the second formula in the second formula we are seeing we do not have the last term in place of the last term we are seeing that we are having the common difference okay and the first term in place of u1 we are having 2 u1 so let us try to derive this as well since we are not having the last term we try to express and we know how to express the nth term in terms of the first term and the common difference so un is equal to u1 plus n minus 1 times d okay so i'll be just simply substituting this part therefore sn is equal to i keep n over 2 as it is and in place of u1 i write u1 but in place of un i write this expression okay so sn is equal to n over 2 u1 plus u1 is 2 u1 plus n minus 1 times d and you see you get the second formula okay so now that we know the how to get the summation of the first n terms of a finite arithmetic series we are in a position to solve questions based on arithmetic series okay so let us take up the very first question of this topic find the sum of the following arithmetic series there are two subparts so the first subpart a let us start with our answer it is minus 31 plus minus 28 plus minus 25 up to 20 terms okay so the first term u1 is equal to negative 31 we do not know the last term what is the value of d it is negative 28 minus negative 31 which is practically equal to 31 minus 21 uh, 28 that is equal to 3 okay and up to 20 terms how many terms are there how many numbers are there 20 numbers so we have to get the summation of all the 20 numbers hence n is equal to 20 what is the formula for sn sn is equal to n over 2 2 u1 plus n minus 1 times d right and since n is equal to 20 it will be s20 
will be equal to 20 over 2. 2 times q1 that is 2 times negative 31 plus n minus 1. 20 minus 1 is 19 and what is the value of d? d is equal to 3. So this is equal to 20 over 2 is equal to 10 and 2 times negative 31 is equal to negative 62 plus 19 times 3 is equal to 57. And minus 62 plus 57 is equal to minus 5 times 10 is equal to negative 50. So negative 50 is the answer for our subpart A. Okay. What about subpart B? Subpart B. U1 is equal to 8. What is the common difference? You may say that why should we be finding the common difference? The last term is known. Yes, the last term is known but we do not know how many numbers are there, how many terms are there. Therefore, we need the common difference. The common difference is 10.5 minus 8 which is equal to 2.5. And un is equal to 83. We do not know which term it is we have to find the value of n. Now this can be written as u1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so in place of u1, let me straight away write the value. What is the first term? It is 8 plus n minus 1 times d. d is 2.5. Okay, so we have to find the value of n. Right? n minus 1 is equal to 83 minus 8 over 2.5, right? What is the value? I may take it, okay, 83 minus 8, 83 minus 8, divided by 2.5. It is 30. Therefore, n is equal to 31. We get the number of terms in this series as 31. Therefore, it will be S31. S31 is equal to 31 over 2 and the first term is 8, the last term is 83. Okay. So we have 8 plus 83 times 31. Okay, I could have divided by 2 as well. So 2, 8, 2, 1. Okay, so control answer divided by 2. One four one zero point five. So this is equal to 1410.5. Okay, the answer for our subpart B is 1410.5. So students, this brings us to the end of this session. We will be meeting very soon in our next session. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please give this video a like in case you found it useful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as you, I publish a new video. Okay? So bye for now.